Hello, my lovely Gemini's. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Gemini, I welcome you to your second week in August. The week when we have a full moon in Aquarius, which is your fellow air energy. And, and I record on the Lionsgate portal, 8-8. Usually, you know, this portal is opening up way quicker than we think and way earlier than August 8. But this week starts as in the time you see it till the 15. So let's see, loves. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science and Venus. From the work of I choose the monology since we are into a full moon energy and Daisy Tarot by Barbara Moore. All right, Gemini's, where we standing and what we do? Messages, messages, messages. For some of you, you might receive a message from someone. For others of you, you are the one who do send a message or even calling someone in particular but I do see communication whatsoever. I don't see a long conversation, but I see more likely a very short one. But let's see. Overarching energy, we have four of cups and ace of swords. Indeed here, there's something here on the way to you, but more likely let's clarify what's going on and what we are standing here for. For some of you, might be someone here you've been dealing in the past. They might want to try to tell you something or you might tell them whatever you are here to offer is not fulfilling me. Clearly, you know where you stand. Also, there is a Gemini here who want to just know the truth about certain things. So let's see. The first card for you, we have the High Priestess. Your intuition tells you quite strongly what is on the way, what you need to know. As well, follow your intuition loves, whatever here you are been calling. Hierophant, Six of Wands, and Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you are dealing with a past energy, past life energy, most likely. We have the priest and the high priestess here. For some of you, you've been married with this person in another past life. For some of you, it's not a thing here with a person, but could be an energy around your work and feels like we need more balance out there. For others of you, you are in a situation that is a little longer than you are want to. The six of pentacles clarify nine of cups. Someone here is very comfortable, whatever they are, how the situation is, even though they know it's not the ideal situation. For others of you, there is some secrets regard someone coming out. The fact is six of wands, you will overcome this loves. There's no doubt with this Leo energy. Or within weeks, you will know where you're standing with someone in particular or a situation in particular. For some of you, if you suspect that someone is still married, know that's true. Your intuition speaks quite highly. Pay attention to those red flags. Even though feel certain things here are moving, but I feel here, you know, quick afterwards, you will know. For others of you, you might feel here like whatever you want, you can't have. Or every time you try something that really you feel will work, comes into um, a break or a heartbreak or some kind of coming here to hurt me. The star energy very, very strongly speaks heal. As well, you are guided. Archangel Gabriel here guides you through every single step you are into. And the High Priestess Clarifier world. 
if somebody here is telling me is telling you that it's done and over you know there's something else as well for some of you follow your intuition if you want to take the next step the next level don't ignore the red flags because i feel here there's a lot of red flags on the way reflect and redirect the best advice for you gemini this coming week or what you need to pay attention closer also for some of you gemini's you might deal here with a fixed zodiac sign taurus aquarius leo or a scorpio and for others i see here um a pisces okay but i feel here for many many of you you hold these energies and you clearly feel whatever is on the way. Also, there is an energy here for some of you, Geminis. If you feel that something here will go to the distance, do not celebrate unless you got that trophy, that prize in your hands. Because I feel here some of you... You might entitle for something, but you might found out that somebody will benefit that work-wise or career-wise. So there's something here out there. Fight till the end if you really need something. The best advice for you this coming week. Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles. And nine of wands right here underneath you my lovely gemini deserve the best of the best ground yourself as much as you can and always know you are able you are capable and you are enough okay because for some of you you might feel here that no i'm not good enough i'm not good this i'm not for that you know how much effort you are putting in. Go ahead. Put more. And don't feel that this is not necessary for you. Choose you. This is the last card, which is your major arcana. Instead of feeling helpless or feeling like Nothing will be good. I feel here for some of you, Gemini, needs to put a little more effort into something. Or don't forget that the effort who truly will be there will appreciate it. No matter what. And let's see here what the monology deck says to you. Communication is key new moon in gemini that's probably i was channeling even before you're reading messages communicate more know more say more underneath we have a win-win outcome is forecast for moon in libra i feel here there is something here for some of you that is kind of like do you don't give up Because sometimes you might feel like, well, nothing will come here. Nothing will just go the way it needs to. But now your commitment is testing. It's tested out. Okay? How you can make certain things. What I'm speaking here is more likely work-wise. Okay? For some of you, if there is a person out there and you... You try to see what is there. If you believe certain things are the way you sense them, follow that. And don't give up into your energy. And again, no assumptions. Communicate, communicate. And again, communicate. Because many, many people come 
to some solutions after communicating. So Gemini's, you know, Mercury is still going direct, is not retrograde. You might feel, well, I have a hard time to say what is inside me, but take it to the next level. Will help you tremendously. Love and light loves. I hope this brings you certain insights. If it does, please let me know. And sometimes or let's say always you are the one who can change all the events courses. Love and light loves. See ya. Have an awesome week. Namaste.